Hey, what's up guys? My name is Thomas Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at an antivirus program called Malwarebytes. Should you be using this antivirus program? We're going to find out in this video. Hey guys, just a reminder to check out vpntierlist.com. It's a collection of all my ratings on the channel and you're going to find lots of helpful information here on how to choose a VPN. Anyways, back to the video. All right, guys, so is Malwarebytes something you should buy? Well, the first thing to consider, of course, is going to be pricing. If we click on the pricing page, you can see the difference between free, premium, and premium for home. Which one should you buy? Well, honestly, guys, I recommend you to buy the premium plan smack dab in the middle. Premium for home is good if you're going to be using something like an Android phone and you might be downloading some sketchy APKs or stuff not on the Google Play Store. So if you need some extra protection, you could get a little bit more support for more than one device. Or if you have someone else in your household who also wants to put Malwarebytes on another computer, the premium for home plan could be good. The premium for you plan only includes protection for one device, but that's pretty good for your computer. You don't really need it on anything else necessarily. Now the free plan is going to be completely free, but the difference in the premium and free plan is that the free plan only has scanning capabilities. Malwarebytes real-time protection is really good, and when you're downloading stuff, surf surfing the web, it's going to protect you from clicking on anything you're not supposed to, and if you do accidentally do that, um, it's going to block whatever you shouldn't be downloading from downloading, whereas the free plan will let you download stuff like this, and if you scan it, will remove it, but guys, premium has that real-time protection, which I think is definitely worth it. Additionally, $40 a year is pretty affordable. It's cheaper than some other options like ESET out there. It's a little bit more expensive than some other ones that aren't really that recommended, like stuff like Norton and McAfee. But guys, I think it's pretty worth it for what you get. And let's go ahead and talk about the application because that's what you're going to be spending your money on. So Malwarebytes didn't always used to be so popular, but I think one reason it really did kind of catapult itself to success is because of its simplicity. And nowadays it has a refreshed interface, which actually looks really good, better than the old interface for sure, but it's still one of the most simple to look at, simple to use um, applications out there. You don't really have too much to it, besides the ability to scan, check for some detection history, and check what real-time protection you have enabled. Pretty much everything is going to be enabled by default, except for root kits. You can put that in the settings if you want to. I'll show you how to do that later. But for the detection history, you're going to have quarantine items, allow list, and history. Allow list is going to let you, you know, add items that you don't want getting triggered by this antivirus kind of system. Um, and you also have a little bit of extra details if you kind of look into some of the settings. Overall, though, guys, I actually really like Malwarebytes um, Premium. I really like Malwarebytes as a whole. Um, it's really simple to use. It doesn't got a ton of extra features like some of the other applications out there. Um, some of the ones like Bitdefender, you know, they put so much clunk and so much like utility in there that you're really not looking for in an antivirus. Um, you know, you do have a lot of settings here you can kind of look at and configure. And like I said, the rootkit thing is right there. But there's really not that much that requires you to spend much time in this application. If at all, you'll just install it, activate your license, and kind of let it run in the background. Since scans are so quick as well, you don't really ever feel that much resource use from this application. And you're not going to have it bogging down your computer, annoying you with annoying pop-ups like some other antivirus applications try to get you to sign up for, you know, extra add-on services and stuff like that. It's not really going to happen with malware bytes, which is really kind of good. So guys, what about malware bytes reputation? Does it have a good one or not? Well, you'll find that most people have a pretty good things to say about Malwarebytes, especially in internet forums. You'll find people complimenting Malwarebytes mainly because of its really quick system scan times, its low resource use, and its overall just kind of simplicity and excellence at just removing malware and its good real-time protection. But in terms of like its privacy policy, it does collect some data and stuff like that. But the thing I like is that it's very long, very extensive, and it explains to you in each category why they collect what they do. This is somewhat unique for a privacy policy. Now with the, comparing antivirus to VPN, it's not gonna be the same kind of story. With a VPN, it's more of a privacy product uh, where antivirus is definitely more of a security product. So antivirus, of course, are gonna collect a little bit more information from you to optimize their products and stuff like that. But I don't think Malwarebytes is especially egregious in this category for doing anything bad. They also have a pretty good reputation. They've grown pretty big in the last couple years, getting sizably more money 
and it seems like they've only made the product better refreshing ui and stuff like that so generally i think it's a pretty good company it's also based in the usa in california but i don't really have that much of an issue with that since it's more about the transparency of a company and if you can trust it rather than where it's based and malwarebytes is pretty transparent and trustworthy all right guys thanks for making it to the end of this review what is malwarebytes final score going to be well a pretty good 4.5 out of 5. Now it pretty is much perfect in the application and security section. I don't really talk about the security too much in this review because a lot of these big players are pretty good when it comes to security. Maybe 10 or 15 years ago, a security would have been more of a category to consider, but at this point they're all pretty much the same in how effective they are at detecting stuff. Um, and you can find various websites kind of testing the effectiveness of these, but most of the big boys get pretty close to perfect scores. And in terms of reputation, you know, it could be a little bit better. It could collect a little bit less stuff, but I think most of the stuff they do collect, like your IP and some of these other operating system diagnostics, is mostly just to run the program effectively and run the company effectively, which it seemingly has done a very good job because it's gotten decently big across the years. Pricing could be a little bit better, perhaps. There are a little bit uh, cheaper options out there, perhaps, with Kapersky, McAfee, Norton, some of these other options. Do have cheaper yearly plans, especially during, like, flash sale pricing, which I don't really recommend going for, uh, because most of these other options, um, you know, they're not really that worth it, and they just bundle in a lot of add-ons and services to raise the cost. Additionally, not all these have free additions either, so I think paying $40 to get everything included, including real-time protection, is actually a very good deal. It's not perfect though, but that's just how it is. Alright guys, thanks for checking out this extended look at Malwarebytes. If you want to click on the link down below in the description and visit Malwarebytes, maybe buy it. I'll receive a small cutback and continue being able to do videos just like these without any paid sponsorships or need for you to donate any money via Patreon or anything like that. So we'll click on the link and we'll be good to go. If you want to check out VPNTierless.com to see one of the 45 VPN reviews ranked on the website, go ahead and feel free to do that as well or click on one of the services that I recommend on the website. And I'll see you guys on the next video very soon.